I simply gave him what he deserved. He doesn't deserve a girl like you, Josie. Don't ever insult Josie's hair ever again, or you'll regret it for the rest of your lives. My mom has been treating me poorly throughout my whole life. How dare you show me your hair? Where is your hat? <laughs> Why did you do that? You're so mean! Oh, is little baby Hale crying? I'm sorry, I forgot you were such a crybaby. What is wrong with you, Frank? Why are you such a jerk? I simply gave him what he deserved. He doesn't deserve a girl like you, Josie. All he deserves is a cold cup of water spilled on his face. I'm the only one in this school who's worthy of you, Josie. It's so cold. It's freezing. <laughs> <laughs> That's right! Keep crying! Keep crying! More and more! Hold on! Why am I crying? I shouldn't be crying! I should be angry! I'm done being a crybaby! I've been a crybaby my whole life! I'm fed up with it! I'm going to teach Frank a lesson! He shouldn't have done that to me! going to regret this. How dare you! That's what you get for messing with me! If you even think about throwing water at me again, I'm going to throw all the water in the cafeteria on you! So don't even think about it! And apologize to Josie! Apologize to her! Right now! I'm not apologizing to anyone! I've never apologized to anyone before in my entire life. I don't know what sorry means. And I never will. Go find your apology somewhere else. I'm not going to let you leave until you apologize. All right, fine. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Josie, I'm sorry. Your hair doesn't look ugly, it doesn't. That's what I like to hear. Don't ever insult her hair again. And I'm not just saying that to Frank. I'm saying that to everyone in the school. Don't ever insult Josie's hair ever again, or you'll regret it for the rest of your lives. Thank you, Hale. Thank you so much for helping me. <laughs> no problem, Josie. You don't have to wear that hat anymore. It doesn't matter what other people think of you, Josie. You should be proud of yourself for who you are. What? Who is this guy? That's definitely not the Hale that I know. Since when did he become so confident? Well, you know what they say. Love makes you go crazy. He must really like Josie to step up for her in front of the whole school like that. Are you alright, Hale? That water must have been really cold. I have some tissues you can use to dry off. It's alright. I'll be fine. It was cold when he first threw it at me, but it doesn't really bother me anymore. I just need to go to the bathroom and dry off. Alright then. Thank you so much once again. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! I'm not wearing my hat right now, right? They can see my hair! Oh my god! I have to find my hat! I need to cover it up! I need to cover it up! <laughs> Josie, relax. There's no need for you to cover it up. Everyone's whispering amongst themselves about how pretty your hair looks. Huh? Really? Is that... is that actually true? Yes, it is. Your hair looks beautiful, Josie. I don't know why you were even trying to hide it in the first place. You look so pretty. Wow, I... I can't believe I'm hearing this. Thank you, Hale. I'm really shocked. No problem. Well, we couldn't hang out properly during this break time because of Frank. So, I was wondering if you had any other free lessons today. I do, actually. My last lesson is free. We can talk to each other then. All right, then. Sounds like a plan. I'm going to the bathroom now. I'll be right back. Hey, I know this might sound a little weird, but can I get a photo with you? A photo? With me? Sure, but why? 
I'm sorry if I sound really weird, or if I sound like a creep, but you're literally the prettiest girl I've ever seen. Your hair makes you look like an angel. It's glowing pure white. It's the most beautiful hair ever. You're really pretty, so I want to take a picture with you. Oh wow, alright, sure, let's take a picture. Thank you so much. I hope I see you around again sometime. What is going on? I'm… I'm suddenly becoming really popular in this school just because of my white hair. But isn't my white hair supposed to be not liked? At least, that's what mom has always told me. That's what Tara has always told me too. That's what I've been raised to believe. My hair is not considered pretty. So why did that person just come to take a picture with me? My name is Nate. Nice to meet you. I just wanted to ask, is your hair natural? Is it naturally white like that or did you color it somehow? It's naturally white. I was born with this hair. Why are you asking? Because, because I'm jealous. I just wish I had hair like that too. Anyways, thanks for letting me know. What is going on? I'm so confused. How long have you been hiding your white hair? Have you always been super conscious about it? Yeah, ever since I was born, my mom rejected me because the doctor told her that I would grow up to have white hair. She says that white hair is not liked, so she really disliked the fact that her daughter was going to have white hair. I have a sister who mom likes much more, just because she doesn't have white hair. I'm apparently not normal, but she is. My mom has been treating me poorly throughout my whole life, which is why the idea of hiding my hair is ingrained into my head. I was just afraid that if I ever showed my hair to anyone in the school, people would tease me and make fun of my hair, and people wouldn't want to be friends with me. That's why I tried my best to hide it from everyone. Josie, you shouldn't be worried about it at all. You don't have to hide such pretty hair. I'm not joking when I say this. Your hair looks magical. It actually looks majestic. I'm not even kidding. I don't know why your mom thinks your hair doesn't look nice, but I really disagree. He's right, Josie. Your hair looks really, really pretty. Almost unreal. It's hard to believe that someone can have hair as pretty as that. Really? I... I never expected that to happen. I thought everyone would dislike the color of my hair, just like how my mom always disliked it. Some people even came and asked to take pictures with me. Excuse my language, but your mom is mistaken if she thinks your hair's not nice. It's the prettiest hair I've ever seen. Don't let her words get to you, alright? I'm Peter, by the way. And I'm Kim. We've been friends with Hale for the past four years now, so we know him pretty well. He's usually not the kind of person to stand up for himself, let alone others. He's always really shy and introverted, so I'm really surprised that he stepped up for you today and put Frankenstein in this place. <laughs> really flattered that you did that, Hale. I really am. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad to know that. <sighs> I guess the school day is over now. I'll have to go back home to my mom and sister. Wish me luck. I'm sure your mom will see your beauty eventually, Josie. And if she doesn't, then that's her loss. Don't let her words get to you. It's not just their words, it's everything. Living in a family that doesn't love or respect you is extremely difficult. I might just go insane one day. <sighs> That's really unfortunate. I wish there was some way in which I could help. You've already helped me enough with your words alone, Hale. What happened today has given me a newfound motivation to make my life better. I never expected everyone in the school to like my white hair. I can't explain with words how happy I was when that happened. I was the happiest person alive. I value my hair a lot now, but I'll still have to wear a hat on my head around my mom and sister for a little while longer. <laughs> That's the spirit. Alright then, I'll be heading home now. See you tomorrow! Nice to see you. 
Hey, how it's... How dare you show me your hair? Where is your hat? Put it on right now. Put it on this instant. Oh, I didn't realize. I'm so sorry, Mom. Wait a minute. Were you walking around in school with that hair the whole time? No, no, that can't be. You're ruining my reputation. What are people going to think when they realize that Caroline has a daughter with different hair? Did you ever think about my image at all, huh? I'm sorry, Mom. I had my hair covered up the whole time while I was in school. I only removed the hat for a few minutes while I was on my way back. No one saw my hair, I promise. You better hope no one saw your hair. If I see the word spread that Caroline's daughter has different hair, I'm going to make you pay for it. You don't want to see me when I'm upset, Josie. You are always angry, Mom. I see you being angry a hundred times a day. Don't talk back to me, you understand? Go back to your room now. Ugh. What a difficult child. Am I going to keep living like this? Mom and Tara are always going to humiliate me unless I do something about it. I'm tired of living life like this. I don't want to be teased every single day. I have to take action somehow. I can't let this go on. I started liking my hair a lot more after what happened at school. It wasn't just Hale who loved my hair. It was everyone. Some people in school even wanted to take a picture of me because of my hair. If Mom and Tara don't like my appearance, then that's their problem. Hey mom, is dinner ready? I didn't cook anything for you. Go grab something from the kitchen and eat it. I don't care. I'm cooking margarita pizza and chicken pasta for Tara though. Thank you, mom. You're the best. Wait a minute. Mom, Josie isn't wearing her hat. What did I tell you about your hair, Josie? You're supposed to cover it with your hat at all times. I won't tolerate any trouble in this household. Not even a little bit. Put on the hat now. No, Mom, I'm not going to put it on. I've decided that I'm not going to wear my hat from now on. If you have a problem with it, then deal with it. I don't care. How dare you talk to me like that? Take that back right now! I'm not taking anything back. I'm tired of you and Tara ruining my life, constantly talking about my white hair. I've had enough of this. So from now on, I won't let you or Tara make me unhappy anymore. Never! I can't even look at your white hair. Take it away. Go somewhere else. Go. I'm going to my room, Mom. I'm not interested in talking to you about my hair either. How dare she talk to me like that? I can't believe this. Where did she get this confidence from all of a sudden? <laughs> I won't let her disrespect me like this. Does she not realize that I can just kick her out of the house whenever I want? This is my house. Mine. I can't believe she just talked to you like that. We need to do something about it. I won't let her get away for disrespecting you like that, Mom. Don't worry. I'll teach her a lesson myself. You won't need to. I'm going to kick her out of the house. If she's not going to cover her hair up, then I don't want her in my house. Josie, I'm giving you one last chance to cover up that hair of yours. If you don't, then I'm going to kick you out of the house. Yes, you heard that right. I can't have anyone living in my house without following the rules. I have an image and a reputation to protect, and I won't let you harm any of them. Cover up your hair right now or leave this house. Choose wisely. So you're going to kick me out of the house just because I won't cover my hair? Wow, you're an amazing mom, aren't you? Don't you dare talk to mom like that. I won't let you disrespect her. Get out of this house right now if you don't want to cover up your hair. If you want to show your hair to the world, then go ahead and do it. But we won't be associated with you at all. I had a feeling you both were going to do something like this, but I still had a little bit of hope left in me. Just a little bit of hope that maybe you both would change one day. 
I guess it was pointless for me to hope. You both are never going to change, especially not you, Mom. You're so focused on your popularity, your image, your reputation. But what you don't realize is that family is more important than all of those things combined. It's really not that hard to realize that, but you're never going to understand. All right, then. I'm going to leave this house once and for all. What? You're going to leave this house? Yes, I am. Isn't that what you've been dreaming of ever since you saw my white hair? You've always been looking for opportunities to get rid of me ever since you found out I was different because of my white hair. Every time a friend of yours came to the house, you would always hide me from them because you didn't want them to see my white hair. Anytime we had a guest in the house, you would do the same. In every event you went to, you never took me because you didn't want anyone at the event to see my white hair. It would ruin your image and reputation if they saw that, right? Mom, your actions are hurtful. I hope you realize that. Enough! Don't use words like that against Mom. Get out of this house right now or I'm going to drag you out myself. You won't have to do that. I'll leave on my own. I already packed my suitcases in case both of you decided to kick me out. So I'm ready to leave right now. Goodbye, Tara and Mom. I hope I never have to see both of you ever again. <laughs>